At this lab in London, they develop diagnostic tests for Great Ormond Street Hospital and Britain's National Health Service. I've come to find out if a new device made by scientists in Texas could change the way some tests are done, taking them out of the lab and closer to patients. I find biomarkers, which are blood markers or urine markers of disease. Uh, I take those markers and I develop them into tests, which we put into the chemical pathology building at Great Ormond Street Hospital and also any other hospitals throughout Britain. So what does a, a normal biomarker test involve? How many steps are there? So there are many steps that are involved. The first step is the clinician meeting the patient, taking blood from the patient. That blood then has to be taken to a chemical pathology building where the blood is separated into plasma, white blood cells, red blood cells. Those samples will then be put into a machine by a technician. The samples will be run. The data will then be taken out, put onto a computer system, which we then pass to a clinician who will interpret the results. What kind of machines then are you using to read the samples? So the machines we use are anything from a simple perimeter, which is a desktop machine, to anything really complex like the mass spectrometers that we have at Great Ormond Street Hospital. So this is a quarter pole time of flight mass spectrometer. This noisy beast is a very sophisticated weighing machine. It's used to identify and measure proteins. It takes about 24 hours to prepare samples and get results. So how much does one of these cost? I think you wouldn't get much change out of a half a million and possibly, you're talking some of them can up to a million pounds. Right. So, and they probably cost about 50,000 pounds a year to run as well. And um, where, where do you get the results? So the results come out here on the screen. A machine like this is essential for research and identifying rare disease markers. But for routine tests, scientists in Texas wanted something cheaper and more portable with a quick turnaround time. So they made the V-chip. Each chip costs about 10 US dollars. They're made from two glass plates which slide together and preloaded with antibodies and red ink. The protocol is a standard ELISA assay with a twist. You add your patient's sample and the antibodies capture your biomarker. You then add other antibodies which carry the enzyme catalase. By sliding the plates, the catalase is mixed with hydrogen peroxide and it produces oxygen. The oxygen gas pushes red ink along a channel. The more biomarker in the sample, the more gas produced and the further up the ink travels. So within minutes you get quantitative results displayed directly on the chip. I mean, the, the idea is elegant um, and the principle is cool, but um, it needs to be simplified or as, as we say in Kempath, when we do it, it needs to be bomb proofed. What kind of tests might be suitable for this V-chip then? So in situations where you need a very fast turnaround of results, um, for instance if someone came in fitting or unconscious, certainly I wouldn't want to diagnose something like cancer or something like that. But if someone comes in unconscious and you want to know what drug they've taken an overdose of, then it could be extremely useful I think.